What's up everyone, Kawaii Kuki here to react to episode 5 of the time I got reincarnated as a slime season 2 last episode we left off. Well, quite a bit happened I would say, uh, but mainly during the first half it was mainly focused on Yom and Mulan. We saw Grusha or Grusius, I think it was, it was his name, he tried to challenge Mulan, but Mulan well, she quite literally put him in the ground because she is that just that strong. She thought Grucius thought, you know, oh, I could, I could beat her. You know, she's just a girl. You know, what could a girl possibly do against me? But he got humbled real quick, and Gobta also wanted to use Milan's magical skills to try to get a one up on Hakuro. But obviously, that didn't work out quite so well because Hakuro is much more powerful than. That. Um, is much more powerful than that and he punished basically punished Gopta and the other dudes real quick for trying that stunt during the second half of the episode however is when things were a little bit more interesting I would say the kingdom of Falamuth had decided to apparently wage war against Rimuru and the JTF apparently the kingdom of Falamuth is quite a big deal in that world so yeah this is definitely setting up for another Huge conflict that Rimuru and the JTF are going to have to be involved in. And it looks like they have sent, I believe what they were referred to as like Otherworlders. Three char new characters towards uh, the JTF's direction to start some shit. So uh, yeah, I'm interested in seeing how that goes. But other than that, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright everyone, here we go, episode 5 of the time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2. I don't blame you. <laughs> Lucky man. How do y'all, how is it y'all already at the lap pillow stage? He, he, he's speaking facts. Oh, we can, uh, we can work something out, right? I mean, surely Clay has got to be kicked off his throne at some point, right? Someone's got to knock Clay down a peg or two, right? There's no way you can keep your heart enslaved forever, right? And, you know, I'm not saying that I shipped them just because of that interaction. But... I shipped them just because of that interaction. I mean, it's pretty much a given at this point. Right? Lap pillow is pretty much a sign of ultimate trust. At least in my eyes. What's this Naruto looking dude staring at? Oh, these two's going at it, huh?
Ah, shit. Speak of the devil. Yeah, it's too early for that, unfortunately. The man you love. Yeah, that poor woman that is under your control, unfortunately. I feel like this whole relationship is developing a little too fast because during like the last couple of episodes when Miolan and Yom were together, like I didn't really sense like a, rom a romantic sort of connection going on there. And yet here we are all of a sudden, all of, now all of a sudden Yom is using Miolan for a lap pillow and Yolan supposedly is developing feelings for Yom. It's it just happens so suddenly. Now I'm not sure if that's because they cut some stuff from the source material, or if it really did happen like that from the get go. Um, but yeah, either way, it, it this feels a little too fast. As much as I like the connection they have going on here, it's moving a little bit too fast for me. Of course, that could change. I am only on episode 5 of season 2 after all. Oh, Falmouth already move, mobilizing the troops, huh? Albus! Ooh, reception is not good in the animal kingdom. Face Millum? No way! What the fuck? I thought Milam and the JTF were tight. No way Rimu would allow this. <laughs> yes! You naive fool. Now you see who you're up against? Well, at least you get a taste of it. Good luck with that. I would love to see you three try.
Oh, what are they gonna do? Oh, targeting Gobzo, huh? Oh, uh, is this for is this further karma for Gobzo for snitching that one time? Nah, but for real though, I am actually starting to feel bad for Gobzo. Sorry, right, has the right idea. <laughs> My boy Gosso has impeccable taste. Base Gobzo. Oh. What the hell? Bewilder. What was that supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Uh, I figured. This girl thought she was like fucking Inumaki from Jujutsu Kaisen or something. She thinks she's her. <laughs> I figured that maybe something like that. Oh, this ought to be good.
Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. All right, let's see what these three are capable of. Oh, I guess two. Let's see what these two are capable of. And I can't wait to see how Hakuro's pl training pays off. may not be able to defeat Akaro, but surely you'll be able to defeat this dude, right? Right, Gupta? Uh-oh. What? Also, I love what it says in the subtitles. Creamaru Puff. Love it. Uh, he figured it all out. Now, what is going on with M Milim? He'll just shove honey in her face and he'll be fine. Oh, yeah, does Grucius actually have the ability to stop her? Whoa! Oh my god, it's... It's Milm's true power, and it's... Actually, very good looking. <laughs> Oh, the future husband is here. Oh, what a Chad. Already on episode five. Don't get oh, my God. Oh, 
shit. <laughs> Yo. Fucking what a chad, man. Oh my god. Oh, what is she doing? What the fuck? Oh, shit. I don't know what's happening, but this is not- I don't think this is good. Oh, the barrier actually worked. She actually went through with it. She really can't fight without magic? Oh, fucking hell. That's fucked up. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, man. Oh, man, oh man. Alright, well... Overall, yeah, things are really ramping up. This is, uh, I guess I would say a more intense episode of the time I got reincarnated as a slime season two. Honestly, I don't like where this is headed. Despite Yon's best efforts, uh, it seems like Mulan still went along with the plan of Cutting off the magic in the JTF. Having the magic barrier being put up. Oh, man. And it looks like Xion and I'm guessing... Maybe even Gobta too. I mean, Gobbit can fight without magic, but Xion... It doesn't look like shit that she can. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like where this is headed. Um... I will say, though, it's still... Yeah, Milim declaring war on the JTF. That's still a very surprising move. I still want to learn more about that. Also, um, yeah, it definitely looked like Grusha, Grusius. It definitely looked like he was quite jealous of Yom when he hugged Mulan and, ev and everything. So, 
which is which is also another interesting direction because like just like the whole affection Yom and Mule have for each other it came about so suddenly there's not really any build up to it so yeah I mean like I said overall pretty intense episode of Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime honestly I really hope that this whole barrier thing gets resolved quickly because I mean I, I don't I hope they don't have to draw out the the villainy of these three because what I would hate to happen was what I would hate to happen is seeing Xion and the others get tormented and beaten to hell and have the series like drag that out for like for way too long longer than it needs to be. Like, I hope Rimuru comes around and fucking resolves, resolves this soon. I mean, there has to be a good amount of people that can fight well without magic, right? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.